Some long haulers say the COVID vaccine has helped improve their symptoms. They couldn't shake for months after testing negative for the virus. Dr. Bela Patel, professor and director of critical care at McGovern Medical School at UT Health, joins us live to talk more about this. Welcome. Thank you for joining us to talk more about this. I'm interested to see if you've heard from any patients who found relief after getting that vaccine. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, Melissa. Uh, we actually have had significant success um, in our UT COVID Center of Excellence. About four out of five patients who we vaccinated actually had relief of symptoms. So quite, um, quite an impressive number, um, certainly higher than what was initially reported. So we're uh, so we actually encourage all of our patients to get vaccination, especially if you have co post COVID symptoms. How intriguing. All right. Are there any particular symptoms that you're seeing improve or is it overall problems that they were having that they're seeing uh, that feeling better about it? Well, you know, uh, anyone who has these long term symptoms from COVID infection, usually a lot, generally fatigued, um, just can't get back up to their normal day to day activities. Also memory, the brain fog that occurs and then some may also have some other symptoms like cough and a little bit of shortness of breath. So in these symptoms, um, when we've given the vaccination, we've noticed that uh, at least two to four weeks later that they're actually having a partial resolution or complete resolution. So, uh, so uh, fair, you know, happens fairly quickly. Now, it's difficult to say what causes that. It's possible that some of the patients were already on their way to recovery and they just got the vaccination, but it's more likely that some of these patients may have had residual virus still in their system and the vaccination is helping their immune system clear that virus, or um, it may be that the uh, virus has activated their immune system and the immunization actually helps the body reset their immune system to get back to normal. It's just so intriguing. This virus has been so odd and now to see that the thing they were looking for all along could have been the vaccine that's making them feel better. All right, we, we're talking about the good side of it, but on the other hand, have you heard of anyone making or any vaccine making a long hauler feel worse or are you only seeing them do better? You know, in our clinic, um, the, as I mentioned, uh, four out of five show it, uh, symptom mm -hmm. improvement. The other fifth of the patients, most of them don't have any resolution of their symptoms as a result. But it has been reported that about 10% of patients may feel worse after vaccination. Well, um, so think, it's still mm -hmm. difficult to tell. I think it's great that you've got a clinic where you're concentrating on these patients because it, it sometimes this goes beyond your typical physician and, and what they can help you with. What are you, are you learning anything through all of this of perhaps why some people are, are more apt to have these serious long hauler symptoms? You know, it's interesting. Uh, research is still ongoing um, about about this entire long hauler process. So we're learning every day. Um, but I think the important thing to remember is that the patients who develop these type of long-term symptoms are everywhere from young women and to patients who are elderly who are of other uh, immunocompromised states. And so it's the entire spectrum of patients. And we wanna make sure that everyone knows that it's not in their heads that after uh, mm -hmm. a COVID infection, people can develop these long-term symptoms. And that potentially they do have some potential benefit that may occur after a vaccination, other than the obvious of preventing future mm -hmm. uh, Well, hopefully this new information coming out that it is helping some people, perhaps will help even more people now that you're helping spread the word. Thank you for your time from UT today. Thank you, Melissa.